Hey game developers, Bilal from Zenfinity.net and welcome to another Unity tutorial and in this one we're going to be creating delays or doing things after a period of time. And there are two common methods of doing this in Unity uh, and I'm going to be showing you both of them. So to begin with I'm going to go ahead and create a new C Sharp script here and I'm going to call this the color changer, right? Uh, and I'll go ahead and open this up. Okay, uh, so I'm going to delete our update function and at the top here I'm going to write using Unity Engine UI, okay, uh, and then I'll make a reference to our image here so that we can drag it in the inspector and I'll create a function called change uh, actually avoid change color to red and so this will uh, we'll say image dot red or sorry dot color equals color dot red okay um, and so oh I need a semicolon here uh, okay, and so now um, we have our function that does it, and to say that we want to do this after a period of time, the first method we're going to use is the invoke method here. Um, so what we can do is say invoke, and then we have to type a function's name here, color to red, and then uh, we can say two seconds, um, put a semicolon, and perfect, right? So I can actually just go ahead and drag this over and go to Unity, and I'll just create a new uh, empty here. And I'll call this the color changer. And I'll attach the color changer script here. Um, and now we can go ahead and drag this image into the image uh, attribute. I'll go ahead and hit play. And we should see that after two seconds, uh, this guy will become red. And that's exactly what happens. And so that's how to do it with the invoke function. Uh, if that's all you needed, then you're done here. But if you want to see the other method, which is to use a coroutine, then why don't we go ahead and go back into Visual Studio. And I'll change this uh, into something that returns an I enumerator. And basically that's something that uh, can index, uh, but that's a bit complex and not really in the scope of the video. So all that I'm going to do here is type yield return new wait for seconds, and I'll type in two. Right. Uh, and so I can just actually go ahead and delete this invoke. And instead of saying invoke, we can say start coroutine change color to red, and we have to actually call the function to return the i enumerator, which means uh, put these parentheses here. Uh, and so now this will actually do the same exact thing, but rather than use invoke, it will use a coroutine. So we'll hit play, and we can see that after two seconds, this should become red again, and perfect. So two different methods that do the same exact thing. Depends on if, uh, whether or not you want to use a coroutine, uh, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So make sure to hit like if it helped you out, and hit subscribe to see the rest of these videos uh, and more. And if you want to make your first game faster, first resource we have is an ebook on all the tools that you need for your first game. So check that out, it's totally free. And if you want to see a free sample from our course, on how to create your first game, go ahead and click the card in the top right now. With all that said, I will see you in the next video, and have an awesome day.